And we're taking a live look from Launchpad 39B this morning. We are just four days away from NASA's Artemis 1 launch. Preparations continue moving along at Kennedy Space Center. And just to give you a better idea of what the rocket looks like, take a look at these impressive pictures. These are new pictures that show the massive SLS rocket on the launch pad. After launching on Monday, the Orion capsule will spend 42 days circling the moon before returning to Earth. Oh. I know, incredible, right? Stunning. Well, if you want to witness this historic moment in person, one of the best ways to spot th spot this and to watch it will be Jetty Park. Yes, but you need a ticket to get in, and they're going to go quickly. Bob Hazen is joining us live from Jetty Park there on Cape Canaveral. And Bob, tickets are going to be made available in just a few hours. Yeah, that's right. You know, Jetty Park is an extremely popular place to watch the launch and officials say they expect it to fill up very quickly on launch day. But there is a way today that you can buy a ticket ahead of time to guarantee yourself a spot in the park. Now, those tickets will go on sale this morning at 7 a.m. So about an hour from now, which is also when Jetty Park normally opens. But on launch day Monday, the park will open at 5 a.m., giving people a good three hours to settle in before the scheduled launch of the Artemis 1 rocket. NASA is expecting up to 500,000 people to come out to watch in person. So you can bet that a lot of the parks along the river and the beaches will be jam packed and traffic will be a headache as well. Jetty Park says the passes must be bought in advance and will guarantee that you can get into the park. But if you leave after you come in, you are not guaranteed that you can get back in. Again, those passes to Jetty Park go on sale this morning at 7 a.m. You can only buy them online. Reporting live at Jetty Park, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.